Time Warner Cable is pleased to be an underwriting sponsor for Carolina Week. Coming up on the September 26th edition of Carolina Week. I'm Susan Tart, and I'll tell you why a gathering at this street corner is causing a lot of controversy. A much needed bus route in Carborough might soon become a reality. In sports, we'll show you a winning pair who are crushing all of the competition that comes their way. Weathercaster Johnny O has your Carolina Week four day forecast. All that and a game that's rocking our campus. Carolina Week starts right now. From the J-Communication at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, connecting campus and community, this is Carolina Week. Hello and welcome to the Wednesday edition of Carolina Week. I'm Adam Rue. And I'm Sarah Huffman. Thank you for joining us. Major campus news tops our broadcast tonight. Chancellor James Meeser is stepping down as the leader of UNC Chapel Hill. He made the surprise announcement at this afternoon's State of the University Address. Thus, I'm announcing today that I will end my tenure as chancellor at this great university on June 30th, 2008. After dropping the bombshell, Mieser focused on highlights of what has turned out to be his last year at the helm. Those highlights include more competitive faculty salaries, a higher graduation rate, and surpassing Carolina First's $2 billion campaign goal. Mieser will research leave. The crowd gave him a lengthy standing ovation. In the past few months, we've all watched the debate about immigration reform divide Congress. And now the issue is causing a rift in the Carborough community. Reporter Susan Tart is in Carborough with more. Susie? Adam, this street corner is where immigrant workers come to find work as manual laborers. But it's the workers who don't find work who are causing concern. The intersection of Jones Ferry and Davy Roads is a popular meeting spot. Immigrants in search of work meet people who need extra help for the day. Many times employers need only one or two workers, so many of these men wait for hours to get work, if they get work at all. Chris Krutzer lives in the area. He says workers hang around when they don't find work, causing problems in the neighborhood. I've had a lot of trash. I picked up a whole, you know, bunch of uh, beer bottles and beer cans from my side yard and used my shed as a toilet one time. None of the workers wanted to talk on camera, but I did speak with one man off screen who wants the city to provide public restrooms. Yesterday, police gave a man a $125 fine for peeing in the shrubs, but there's nowhere for us to use the bathroom. They don't permit us to go in the stores. We're here to work, but we must wait for work, so we need a bathroom. A new ordinance prohibits workers from gathering in the area after 11 a.m. Board of Aldermen member Dan Coleman thinks the city can find a solution to the problem. It's important for them to have the opportunity to find work, but we need to do it in a way that works for everyone in the community and that protects everyone concerned. Carbo is looking at other communities across the country with similar issues. One possibility is to build a public facility for the workers in a new location that's less congested. Adam? Thanks, Susie. We now turn to a Latino community on campus is being affected by this and other issues. Rebecca? Thanks, Adam. I talked with students from the Hispanic community here. Despite recent controversies, Latinos say they feel right at home on campus. Let's go. Members of the Hispanic community at UNC can choose to get involved with a variety of cultural activities. The Carolina Hispanic Association has more than 500 members. Vice President Judith Rodriguez explains their diversity within the organization. The Carolina Hispanic Association encompasses so many people um, from Latin America and Europe, and we have a lot of people who are not of Hispanic descent come who just love the culture. Another Latino organization on campus is Lambda Pi Chi, the Hispanic sorority. Diana Layton is the sorority's public relations chair. Very true. She says although some Hispanics on campus focus on their differences, the members of Lambda Pi Chi are bonded by their similarities. They focus on a pan-Latino community, whereas just, you know, similarities. Lambda Pi Chi asked Dr. Lucilla Vargas to lead a discussion about the portrayal of Hispanics in the media. Dr. Vargas says the media has a big effect on stereotypes about Hispanics. These stereotypes depict Latinos as oversexed beauties or unintelligent clowns. But the hit show Ugly Betty is changing all of this. So having Ugly Betty in prime time, uh, there are many Latinos in the cast and many Latinos behind the camera. That is quite important. Uh -huh. It's quite an achievement. 
quite important. Vargas believes shows like Ugly Betty help to change the perceptions of people outside of the Hispanic community. Even with the changing media, Vargas says the best way to eliminate stereotypes is to get to know people from all cultures. Rebecca McAtee, thank you. Sometimes purse carriers take the security of their belongings for granted, but recent events show you should really watch out for your bag. Here's a surveillance video. The thief who police wallets and money from right under shoppers' noses. She's believed to have targeted shopping centers and discount stores in Raleigh and Durham. But Chapel Hill police say things are still calm around UNC. There haven't been any purse snatching cases in the past few weeks, and Walker hasn't been a known threat to the area. Students aren't concerned either. Most students carry a bag on campus, and many female students carry purses. But students like Rebecca Mogg still feel at ease as they walk around. Really, I wouldn't expect it here, maybe in more of a metropolitan area, big city, maybe, but not in Chapel Hill. Go to our website, carolinaweek.org, for a link to information about how you can stay safe while you shop. There's a new sheriff in town. Actually, he's the new chief. Major Brian Curran is Chapel Hill's new police chief. The announcement came at Monday night's town council meeting. Curran's resume includes five years in the Navy, involvement in the hostage rescue attempt in Iran in 1980, and 21 years of service. He's retired six months ago. Curran has been the interim chief since then. He's already busy in the new position. A lot of phone calls. You know, I'd go out to, out of the office to get a cup of coffee and come back, and I have six new messages. You know, uh, I've still got a couple of hundred emails I need to answer, and uh, that plus you know just all the regular business that I got to get done. Current plans to uh, expand community policing and focus on neighborhood problem solving. A new website is making life on campus a lot easier. CampusDestinations.com is a student-run website that lets you check out local restaurants and read reviews. For just $10, you can get a Campus Destinations card. With the card, you get discounts at 24 restaurants and stores on Franklin Street, including Cosmic Cantina and I Love New York Pizza. And a 10% discount makes this pizza taste even better. Soon the website will also feature directions to help you get around campus. Do you remember campus? Well, those days are back. Subway made its return to South Campus today. There used to be a Subway in Chase Dining Hall, which closed in 2005. UNC Dining Services put the eatery in the Ram's Head Market to replace the failing deli that had been there since the facility opened. Surveys show that students preferred Subway to other restaurant choices. The sub shop will be open until midnight, Monday through Thursday, and until 9 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. A photography exhibit opens tomorrow at the new Global Education Center on UNC's campus. Women Empowered by photographer Phil Borges features pictures of women who've risen above gender oppression in their communities. Each woman comes from a different culture and each story is unique. The captions to the pictures list the remarkable challenges the women face every day and how they've succeeded. Event coordinator Laura Greist says the show's focus will bring in a good crowd. Currently we have an exhibition that focuses on women, different continents, uh, you know, so many issues involved here that I think are really going to attract a good number of people. The exhibit will be open to the public until January 3rd. UNC is always up to speed with the latest computer technology. Coming up, we'll show you all the new ways people on campus are using their tablet PCs. Thank you.